Let's get to know each character of our favorite, the one and only, the story of Yanshi Palace. Presenting the main characters. In real life, this is Wu Jinyan. In the story, this is Wei Ying Lu, also known as Novel Concert Ling. In the story, she is an upright, strong, and cunning woman who is ahead of her time in terms of knowledge and reasoning. She enters the palace to investigate the murder of her sister. In the palace, she uses her innate skills to rise above the tangles of conventional palace rivalries for nobler causes and defeat her enemies. She is also became the adoptive mother of the fifth prince, Yongqi. Or Yongqi. Our next character is Lord Fuka Fuheng. In the story of Yanshi Palace and in real life, he is Sukai. In the story, he is leader of the Imperial Guards, also a younger brother of Empress Xiao Xianxun. He is a foil for the Emperor. Since he is rather a free man without the hamper of pomp and circumstance. In this way, he can be truer himself in love and life. And he maximizes the privilege by being upfront and forward in his feelings without the hesitation and unease that clouds every step taken by his more powerful superior. Ends up marrying, urging, and dies from malaria while retrieving a cure for a rare disease Ying Lu contracted. And of course, this is the sister of Fu Heng. In the story, she is the empress, Empress Fuka Rongyin. In real life, he is, she is Kinlan. And in the story, she is the first empress of Emperor Qianlong. Emperor Xiao Xianxun, kind, gentle, and virtuous. A mentor of Ying Lu during her stay in Changchun Palace. Killed herself after he, her infant son Yong, Yong Chong was killed by Lady Chun. And of course, our one and only emperor, Emperor Qianlong in the story of Yanshi Palace. In real life, he is Ni Yuan. And in the story, he is the emperor of the Qing Dynasty. A ruthless emperor who fell in love with a cunning woman, Wei Ying Lu, who became the mother of their children and posthumously known as Empress Xiao Yi Chun. And of course... The one and only again. Maybe you love or hate her so much in this story. The one and only noble concert Gao. Tan Zhou as Gao Ningxin. And in the story, she is the first mentioned noble concert of Emperor Qianlong in the series. Her palace strategy can be summed up as the best defense is a strong defense. With an air of indifference, she walks and talks meaner than a viper. Biper. And for those who think lightly of her, cruelty is her specialty. However, for all that they know, she is actually a lonely child who lives by making the whole palace her stage in the hopes of catching the attention of her man. She commits suicide after Consort Xian convinces her that her beauty is ruined Ruined. Ruined. After an accident. Oh, that accident. So sad for noble concert girl. And the last, but not the least, Charmaine She as Hoi Fanara Sushen or Consort Xian. Who is she on, on the Yanshi, Yanshi Palace? Initially, she, has a, she is a kind-hearted and virtuous woman who wanted nothing but peace. She soon realizes that her kindness only results in her being stepped on. After her family's demise, she becomes a cunning woman who manipulated others for her own means. She is also stripped of her titles when she laps off her hair in the southern tour. And that's it. Uh, they are the main characters of the Yanshi Palace. In our next uh, upload, we'll try to upload the supporting characters in the story of Yanshi Palace. Let's get to know 